All right, we're here with Hall of Fame trainer Freddie Roach. Freddie, it's so good to see you today. How's everything going? Pretty You're good. Uh, a lot of uh, interest here. I got one of my good, uh, one of my kids on, on a big show, and uh, it's. Um, it's it's good to be on good shows. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you're talking about Elvis Rodriguez, and obviously, you know, coming off a loss where, let's be honest, I mean, top rank threw him in the in the dumpster, so to speak. But that's got to light a fire under a, a kid, doesn't it? Was yeah. that, are you trying to stoke him about that and say, hey, you've got something to prove now? Yeah, it did definitely, and he, he, he does have something to prove. And we you know, we have a new promoter, and the, the new promoter threw his. He didn't throw us in. He threw us in deep. Yeah, I mean, this is not an easy fight. We know that, but I, I have no fear for that. This is a great fight for my guy. He just needs to learn not to over respect these guys just because they their history. You know, yeah. that's what he did in the last fight. He gave the guy too much credit and didn't use his power. And in this fight, uh, we trained really well for this fight, and he he's ready to fight this guy. I mean, because that's that's how you, that's the only way to beat him. How are you now? You've got another big fight coming next week, and the great thing about talking to you, Freddie, always is that we know we're not going to get hype, but it's going to be nothing but the truth. But you've got a big fight coming next week with with Gabriel Rosado, fighting former 154 pound champion Jaime Munguia in Anaheim, California, uh, on the zone. Um, how is that fight looking to you? I mean, let, let's be honest. Rosado has a lot of losses on his uh, record, yeah. but you, I know you were telling me you like this matchup for this kid. I do. Uh, you know, this is going to be a really good fight. It's uh, obviously a tough fight for, for both guys. And, uh, you know, you look at Gabe's previous fight, though, when he, you know, he, he gets hit by uh, the big puncher, goes down, takes an eight, and then I see him look over at me in the corner, and he didn't give me a big smile, but he gave me enough of a uh -huh. smile to know that he was okay. Uh -huh. And then, you know, he gets up, and then, you know, the, the, the guy comes in to finish him, and gets caught. Yeah. And, uh, and, he, and he gets knocked out. And uh, that's the type of fight that I want in this fight. Yeah. Because I have Gabe going out full blast, and punch him with this guy. He said, hey, the only way to win this fight is to go out there and knock this guy out, just like the last fight. Really? I said, you cannot, like, outbox him, outpoint him. I said, forget about that stuff, because we've been working on it left hook over and over and over again, and now he has both hands working well, and he's in great shape. And uh, I can't wait for this fight to happen. That's great. It could be a very good back-to-back -back week for you then, right? If yeah, you can pull definitely. this off. Yeah, yeah, definitely, and then uh, uh, we have uh, got two fights coming up in December, and uh, so it's, it's 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 good to be busy. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and one of the fights that you actually have a pretty prominent voice in, I know you have some strong opinions about this, is Sean Porter and Terrence Crawford on November 20th. Because look, you used to have Sean Porter in wild card. You did a lot of work with him, and you yeah. and you sent Victor Postal in the battle against Terrence Crawford. What do you make of this Porter Crawford fight? Can Porter actually get the job done and win the fight? Porter, you know, people shouldn't under, under, uh, underestimate him because he's one of those guys that he won't quit. He'll keep fighting till the end. I mean, you know, he's fighting a very good fighter who I call the best fighter in the world some days, and I think sometimes I really think he might be because uh, I kind of watch the corner and I watch it. And he doesn't really listen to anybody but himself, and he goes out there and fights his fight, yeah. and he figures it out, and then by the, the middle rounds, he takes he takes over. You know, he's gonna fight lefty, righty, we don't yeah. know. But like, you know, he's gonna try it all out and see what works. And uh, I, uh, it's a, that's a great fight. I, I love when, when two good fighters fight each other. What can Porter do to win the fight? He needs to stay, bit, bit, stay bit busy and throw a lot of punches and just maybe out, out punch his opponent, which is not going to be a, an easy thing to do. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're absolutely right. Crawford is a badass, and I, I know I've got him number two to this guy, Canelo Alvarez. Last thought, Freddie, I mean, we've got this big fight coming up Saturday night. Who do you like in this fight? Does this plant really have any chance in your mind? 
I think he can outbox this guy a little bit. He's he's he, he's he's got good a good jab, a good combinations, and uh, but that might not be all enough for this for this fight for you know because he, he's in with a very very tough opponent and uh, a good puncher on top of that and uh, he he might be he might be taking a taking too big big a bite out there but um i'm still interested in it enough to oh, yeah. watch it yeah okay so it should be it should be, it should be i think it should be a fun fight to watch is it pretty cool for you, last thing, I mean, for you, you were here when it was a Manny Pacquiao fight week was, you know, took over Las Vegas. You know, you had Oscar uh, for Floyd when both of those guys were basically near the height of their uh, success. Do you feel like Canelo's really taken over Las Vegas now? Is it special to see someone else sort of inherit that mantle? Yeah, definitely. And, uh, and he's looking really, really good. And, uh, you know, he is... He's he's a great fighter. Yeah. He he knows how to fight. Great. Thank you so much, Freddie. I appreciate it. Good luck on these back-to-back weeks. Thanks Go so get him. Yeah.